welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Erica Jane. I like to make a ton of random videos, anything from homemaking, natural recipes, home bakery things, traveling around the Maritimes slash Atlantic Canada. Newfoundland is not a part of Maritimes. Um, I digress. Jumping into today's video, we are going to be doing a mixture of some cleaning, homemaking, bakery things, getting the porch ready for pickups, and just some random stuff like that. I want to start off with some vacuuming this morning. I have two batches of sourdough kind of rising. I'm going to do some coil folds there and then they'll be bulk fermenting. Experimenting with some einkorn flour. <laughs> Sweet dope guys. So we'll see how that goes. I haven't baked with einkorn in sourdough yet, so we'll see. I have an order for one plain sourdough loaf, so I always like to make a couple extras just in case. Um, and then if they all work, I'll probably put them out on the porch because I'll have a few people coming by for pickups. So put those out there. If people want to buy them, they can. If not, fine, totally fine. Um, today though, I'm excited because we're gonna experiment with some different rolls and different things for the market coming up. So it's not this Saturday, but the Saturday after. And it's actually on a flower farm and a flower you pick here in Cape Breton. So very excited, very, very excited for that. Um, I've been trying to like brainstorm a lot of flower themed ideas. So I'm gonna be doing cake pops with little flowers on top. And then I'm gonna be doing little cakes, just like very small cakes, but like with a flower piped onto it. And then I'm debating doing little mini cookie cakes. We'll see, I'm not totally sold on that yet. And then I'm gonna have things like oat cakes, classic cookies, chocolate chip muffins, that kind of stuff, um, dirt and worms cups. I'm excited about those because it's on a flower farm. So I feel like that could be kind of fun for like kids, just like the little pudding cups with gummy worms. Um, a few different things like that. And then I'm testing like, you know, the Lotus cookies, like the Biscoff cookie spread. I have so many of those. I got them in bulk. Um, so I think I'm going to try and experiment with a few different Lotus things. Um, because people really love them and it's not around here, like we had to order it in. So I think that could be exciting. And I want to put them in things that other people around here haven't really. So like lotus rolls, like instead of cinnamon rolls. And then I want to do a cookies and cream roll, a lotus millionaire bar, a regular millionaire bar, a lotus like loaf cake some things like that. So I think this market is going to be very Lotus heavy. Um, and I'm going to put out some free samples of those things for my pickup customers tomorrow. Um, just to see like, do you like these? Are they good? Are they bad? Let me know. Um, or people can just enjoy them and I won't get any response. It's really hit or miss, but we'll put them out there. We'll hope. Um, let's just jump into this now. I really want to vacuum. I didn't vacuum yesterday or the day before, which is really not like me, but it's just been kind of busy. Uh, and that hasn't been the priority. So I think I'm gonna vacuum before I cook. Seems weird. And then we'll probably vacuum again later in the kitchen at least. Um, but yeah, I wanna do the carpets, they're pretty bad. So let's jump into that. So yeah, here is the sourdough rising. So this is just the plain artisan loaf and I'll probably add a few mix-ins because this is, going to be three loaves of sourdough and then this is also going to be three loaves but that's the einkorn <laughs> topaz is playing in here um <laughs> hey what are you doing <laughs> give me my bear back these are mine mr basin <laughs> mr basilaz Okay, and also we found this really cool place um, called Sobeys Passion Ferry. Um, if you're in Nova Scotia, or I think they have other ones like throughout Canada, I'm not entirely sure where the locations are. Um, I know there's two in Cape Breton, um, slash I guess one's on the mainland, one's in Sydney and one's in Sellerton. Um, and we went to the one in Sydney yesterday and they had so many stuff for like food suppliers and restaurants and I was just kind of blown away. So we got some spoons, um, five bucks, just sleeves of spoons. Those were a bit more expensive than the other items, but got like clear bags, amazing, made in Canada. So we got a one pound bag and then two pound bags, um, which I think will be good for bits and bites, specifically those. 
and then way cheaper than where I have been getting them. And even like this, these are compostable little clamshells, which I think will be perfect for cinnamon rolls because you can just serve them up right from the pan, bring them in the pan and then serve them individually in these little clamshells and they're compostable. This was $11. So way cheaper than what I have been getting things for. Um, so yeah, I think we're gonna go there more. Um, and then yesterday it was a big bulk barn day because there's no bulk barn near us. The nearest one is in Sydney, um, which is like an hour and 40 minutes away. So gummy worms, a lot of like little chocolates and things that I'll need, like white chocolate chips, um, dark Belgian chocolates, white Belgian chocolates, milk Belgian chocolate, dark chocolate chunks. These are actually vegan as well, so that's a bonus. And then I got these fun sprinkles. They're really bright and colorful. And I think these will be good for like, for the market. I could do like mini cakes or something. Um, and just use those as sprinkles. Cause I have these boxes, which are quite small. And then I have these little tins. So one of these will be used. These I feel like could be good for like cookie cakes. So we'll see, we'll see there. And then since I'm doing cake pops, I got like candy melt. So a few colors, pink. Um, yellow, white, and chocolate. So those will be good. And then, oh yeah, these are really cute. So just little flower sugar candies. And I think I'm just gonna do one flower on each flower pop or candy. <laughs> cake pop because they're quite expensive. Um, and then this is the Biscoff, which I think I've shown you when I when it got here. Um, and then tons of Oreos, and then got like a 300 pack of these little cookies, um, which I guess are given out on airplanes quite frequently, but this was the best deal to get this many cookies. Um, so we have 300 of those. I've already eaten a few, so probably 290, <laughs> really. And then, oh yeah, yesterday, I really need to sort out like a bag situation because individual gift bags are quite like expensive per each. Like these are like $3 each. Um, and when I just have like a few orders, it's like, it's fine. But now it's like I have four, four orders for pickup and then I don't have delivery orders yet, but last week I had four as well. So like that adds up pretty quick. That's like $30 on bags that I don't need to be spending. Um, so I think I'm gonna try and order bigger bags. There's like a pack on Amazon that's like decently cheap, um, but Uline is probably what I'll order from like long-term. It's just a, more expensive up front. Um, so yeah, I think I'll probably do that soon. I guess I did place the order last night. We'll see if it comes <laughs> um, in time for the market and like this, but yeah. Oh yeah, we got these. Um, these finally arrived. I ordered them a while ago, but Banatons. So I'm actually gonna be able to try them today. So that's exciting because we're gonna have six loaves and we have eight Banatons now. So yes, very exciting. So I think this is one recipe I'm just going to double and then cookie dough freezes really well. So I'll just plan to freeze some and then that will be one less thing to do for the market because it's like a week and a half out. So that should be okay. And cookies freeze delightfully. So let's chat the list for today. So. We're browning the butter now, and that's going to be for brown butter sourdough cookies. So I'm making a double batch. We have an order for a dozen for tomorrow, and then I think I'll just make them, scoop them, chill the dough, and just have it in the freezer because it is kind of on the thing. And then if they don't sell now, they'll be ready for the market. 
Turn off my mic. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I need to find that. Um, and then I think after this, I might make English muffin batter because that's just something I can make. And then you leave it on the counter for two hours and then put it in the fridge overnight. Um, and then I might do the scones after because I want to bake some for our neighbor um, because he's helping us out getting like a big water tote thing with his truck. Um, so make some scones. I think I think lemon blueberry and chocolate um, just to mix it up. And then someone else asked me to just like pick a flavor and that always stresses me out. So I think I'm going to do both my verb scones for their order too. Just because I don't want you to like, I'm scared. I don't want to disappoint you, but they asked for me to choose. So, okay, I will choose. Um, but so we'll do that. And then we'll make the brown butter cookies later once the brown butter's cooled. And then when Hunter gets back, we'll do all the shredding of cheese because he's getting more cheese for me. And then I will try and make the cinnamon roll dough too. I'm just making one single batch of cinnamon roll dough. Um, because I'm going to split it in half and then make half lotus and half cookies and cream just to test it because I don't like, I don't know how it will turn out. And we don't need a crazy amount of cinnamon rolls. Um, and then I'm going to make muffin batter for tomorrow. I might even make biscuits today because that's something that easily freezes and then it's way easier to bake tomorrow. And then I would just be able to bake off biscuits, scones, cookies, um, sourdough will just be baked off and then the only actual like baking work I'll have to do would be like bagels and bread which is the priority anyways in terms of like oven use so that makes it a bit easier because when everything's ready you can kind of just like keep them and wait and if you have 15 minutes shut them in the oven um, I think that makes sense it's also nice not having to leave for deliveries because that, like, you have to consider that in terms of packaging, whereas, like, just for pickups, I need to make sure it's cooled and ready for pickups, but not in terms of me driving here as well, because that adds, like, 30 to 40 minutes, depending on the order. So, I'm excited. I'm excited. Also a little nervous. <laughs> we'll see. I feel like there's definitely potential that someone will just show up, like, who doesn't have an order. Um, so I think I'm going to put a few extra loaves and stuff and just put for sale and then have like order pickup on one side and then like random items. So like, if that happens, someone can. And if not, that's fine. Like I'm not going to make extra, I'll just make what I have. Okay. <laughs> so, let's go put some dishes away. thing with the run a well though is we're kind of dependent on rain um so we have not rain really we keep getting like sprinkles but like we're on like kind of a lake and it just like splits i felt like and just doesn't hit us so that has been really disappointing um and i feel for a lot of other areas because we're getting like insane rain and we're just like we have no rain we need rain we need water um yeah, two extremes. You don't want either, but that's where we're at right now. Um, so I haven't been doing dishes consistently because we didn't really. I didn't want to run out of water this morning. Hi, Betty. Um. So yeah, I was holding out on doing dishes. The Connor went to the the spring and filled up a few jugs and dumped it in the well. So I think we have enough at least to do dishes slash like flush the toilet here and there. Don't get crazy though. <laughs> Can't flush too many times. Yeah, we take the if it's yellow or vanilla very seriously here. <laughs> Not when we have guests, because that's kind of just gross for other people, but it's just me and Connor. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do.
Little baby, we love you. Little baby, we love you. Hi, Hinton boy. Hello, baby. Honestly, it'd be kind of okay if we just had pickup orders for this week. I'd be grateful either way, very grateful if we got delivery orders. But like, I could be okay with just having, not just, but having four orders already this week is amazing. So, I'd be cool with that. <laughs> I'd be very cool with that. I'm not sure because we have a market coming up, which I've talked about multiple times, but um, I don't know if I want to like keep orders open for the week after because one, packaging, I may need to reorder packaging and then supplies and then tiredness. Um, but then my period's supposed to be the week after, so I'm like, would I rather have that time off for this? I guess it's my choice, so that makes it harder <laughs> somehow. <laughs> I think maybe I'll do the week after off because like it, I'll be exhausted and it'll be a good time to like catch up on stuff rest wise and it often hits early so I would bet it would hit early.
any clothes. You can start to snot. It smells like really nutty once it's like there.
shape the sourdough now because it is humid as heck here um, and it's done so that's what we're gonna do feels like I should shape one dough into an actual bowl because I have one for an order and I'm just worried that something will happen. So I feel like maybe I should prepare for that in case. Um, Hi little buddy. Hello little buddy Bazin. metal bowl <laughs> and a towel. So then that way if something happens with these and they don't turn out the way I'm hoping they will. flour to season the banatons and the towels.
Hello, we're back. Still in the kitchen. Um, I changed, I got too hot. <laughs> the English muffin batter is done. The butter is browned. The cinnamon roll dough is rising. And I just juiced the lemons, zested them, and then kind of prepared the dry ingredients for the scones. So I'm doing two double batches. So four batches really. Um, for lemon blueberry because I have two dozen for orders and then our neighbor I also want to give our neighbor some so I'm gonna try and get a few out of this just even like two or three and then I'm gonna make double chocolate scones as well for him because his son's there too so that's more kid friendly but I'm just going to zest up this butter slash grate it because it always works a little better it's just easier to mix in grated wash this I will grade more butter for the biscuits. Um, I'm just gonna start with this first. So funny, kitchen days are so different when I like feel well. Like when I was on my period trying to bake like less than this, it felt horrible. It felt so overwhelming. But like there was so much. It took me so long to do it. And now I'm just like cruising. I'm just enjoying it. Like <laughs> feeling good it really changes the day. <laughs> so great. Looking at this, I know I didn't double the flour or the sugar. That's good to know. for flour for this order. 
It's usually we would have gone to Costco, but we were in Newfoundland the week that um, Connor would have been in the city, so we didn't. So I've just been like buying the smaller bags of organic flour at the grocery store, which is uh, not as great bang for your buck. Um, so trying to get by. But by next week, we should have it. I'm going to try and bake one of the Einkorn one because I do like if they work out I'd love to have those offered tomorrow so Close on them. Um, hi, Boopy. You want to stand in the freezer? Topaz, don't. It's okay, buddy. You're gonna want better. We don't put him away now, overnight, and he's you're doing a lot better. Sometimes though, Boop will like preemptively try and hit him because he's hit him before, so he's like, ah, don't get me, no. <laughs> Still working on that, but they're doing way, way better. Yes.
I'm going to do a super basic score because here is what it looks like. Let's be cool and go. Passion. Alright, we got the brown butter sourdough chocolate chip cookie dough done and I did a little test batch. This is the lotus cookie roll and this is the cookies and cream cookie roll. <laughs> Very excited to ice those and eat one. Um, and then I tested baked one loaf of einkorn. It seems pretty good. It's still pretty hot though so I'm gonna wait to like cut it but that's where we're at now. Yeah, I really need to, I think I'm going to do the biscuit batter next, get those baking. I don't even have that on here, biscuits. Um, and then once those are done, slash in the oven, I'll make muffin batter. And then I will make frosting for the brownies last. And then that should be it. I guess shred cheese too. And then I'll do labels later when I'm sitting. So let's do that. <laughs>
Hello, good morning. It is, I guess it's the afternoon, good afternoon. It's Monday, um, just kind of wrapping up my orders for today, which is really exciting. My first round of pickup orders started out with two, just kind of like randomly. And then I, I got those when we were away in Newfoundland and then I got two more in the last week. So I had four, my like, God, keep getting ear out cause I like, People are coming to pick up their orders, but they're picking them up on the porch. So it should be okay. It's like a kind of help yourself like situation, self-serve kind of stand. So we'll see. Got the four orders on the porch. Um, yeah, <laughs> I should keep hearing things. <clears throat> but yeah, so that was really exciting. Got that all packed up. I had a few extra loaves of bread, so I put those out there. If they don't sell, that's cool. If they do, amazing. Kind of just a test. Um, no one really knows we are gonna be open slash I haven't posted the address publicly, but a lot of people that we've met at the market slash like know we're from here, know where we are just because the area is so small. Um, I told one person we lived in the old nights and they're like, oh yeah. Like some people just know just based on like, just like history around here. So trying to keep that in mind. Um, I think for the rest of the day, I might just edit some videos, um, because I'm trying to keep, like, somewhat alert and chill in here, um, just in case, like, in case anyone knocks, in case there's any issues, um, and I do need to edit a video, because I have missed, I missed Sunday's video, um, and I would like to have my video ready for Wednesday as well, so I'm gonna try and do that, 